Welcome to a new Photoshop tutorial with PSD Box. I'm Andre, and today I will show you how to make this manipulation in Photoshop. Um, it's a colorful looking manipulation as you can see. We're gonna add a few elements around here. It's not really complicated. What I want to show you is how I replaced the hair of the model. Uh, I'm gonna show you how I manipulated that because this is not the original hair. And how to add these elements around here, how to retouch the skin a bit. And that's pretty much it. You can do this in any Photoshop version. I'm using Photoshop CC 2018, but you can use any Photoshop version. You can you can get this uh, result. If you use uh, something above CS6 or at least CS6, um, it's a lot better. But as I said, you can do this in pretty much any Photoshop version. You'll have the resources on the resource uh, resources folder, so you can download the stock images, and also you'll have the PSD file, so you can. Uh, see so you can cycle through the layers as you can see uh, over here and see how i how i made uh, all of these adjustments here so i hope you will enjoy it and let's get started well we're gonna start by copying this canvas size so i'm gonna copy merge and i'm gonna create a new document uh, I'm gonna make it a bit smaller, about 3000 pixels because I'm also recording the video. So I don't wanna, I don't want my computer to slow down. So I have some of the images already extracted from the background because uh, they're quite easy to extract. So um, let's delete this and we're gonna start with the background. Uh, as always, you can see these are the files that I already have extracted. So let's go into the resources folder and here you'll find um, all the images that you need to create this. So we're gonna start with this one. I think I got this image from unsplash.com and I'm gonna paste my image right over here. We're gonna make it big, um, make it as big as you want. We just need this for the background uh, to have some color and some texture and we're gonna blur it so uh, it doesn't matter if you if it loses quality when you scale it up. So let's go to filter and go to blur and we can use Gaussian blur. Something like that. You don't want to have something like this. It's too blurry um, about there. Um, the radius will depend on your canvas size for this 164. It's OK. Let's add 70 to have exact numbers. OK, so this will be our background. You can see we have some white area here, which is great for the background uh, that we will have there and some texture around there. The next thing we're going to do is open the second image, which is this one. And this is to create the floor. And I got this from 123RF, I think it's called the website where I buy my stock images. I also buy images from um, Deposit Photos. So you can go there and uh, search for stock images. Uh, they're pretty good resolutions. So the next thing I want to do is convert this into a smart object because I don't know how big uh, this has to be. So I'm going to scale it down. I'm going to go a bit quick here um, because this is just standard uh, photo uh, merging and manipulation. So um, with this gradient, with a linear gradient, black to white, I want to fade this away. Something like that. Maybe I'm gonna reverse it and do it from the bottom. I don't want to see the um, the actual C there, but if you want to do that, you can you can do it. I want to make it just a bit bigger. We'll have to adjust the perspective of this. So uh, after we add the shell there, we will see how we have to do this. But uh, let's start with that and let's add the shell so uh, we can then adjust the, the background there and i already have it extracted as i said tutorial files and this one is really easy to extract it's on a solid background so that's why i don't want to spend time showing you how to do it and let's make it smaller keep in mind that we have to put the woman inside of here so you want to make it you want to leave about that much space on each side. 
let's leave it there. If you're not sure about the sizes, it's always better to convert into a smart object and then you can rescale it and you will not lose quality. Now, we have to readjust this uh, shore on this uh, background, sorry, the floor, uh, in other words, so that it matches the perspective a bit. Have to drag it down. If you put it right here, it's not looking nice. You can see the horizon, it's up there. So I think uh, we have to make it a bit smaller. 